Hi guys, welcome back. For reasons I said in the last video, Harold had rather believed that he was entitled to be the King of England. Harold had rather was currently the King of Norway and his name meant hard ruler. He also had a proper cool beard. The Viking was like, screw you England, and on September 1066, Harold Hadrada tore down the North English coast, into the Humber estuary, up the River Ouse, and his plan was to take the city of York. He was encouraged and accompanied by Tostig Godwinson, exiled brother of Harold Godwinson. Tostig was also known for being a hard ruler, and the two of them got on like a house on fire. Um, and uh, so uh, when Tostig went to uh, Harold, um, planning the invasion, uh, this is this is what happened. Oh, uh, hi there, uh, Harold. And, uh, and then Harold was like, yeah, man, damn, yeah, yeah. And then Tostig was like, can I help you destroy England? And uh, Harold was like, yeah. And so the two went to take over England with 300 ships. Morcar was the new Earl of Northumbria, and... When he heard of the Viking invasion, him and his bro were like, no, and the Saxons were like, went over to the Vikings and they had like a little scrap. The Saxons had around 4,000 men, and the Vikings had 7,000 men, but I've also heard somewhere that the Saxons had 6,500 men, and the Vikings had 7,000 men. But anyway, this is how the battle went down. Wolford battleground was moist, and it was properly hard to fight in. The Viking had some top-notch tactics though uh, to win. The English army created a shield wall on top of the north side of the beck. The Saxons used the shield wall because it not only protected you, but it protected the man next to you. And it was also very, very, very hard to penetrate. And Harold was like, how do we do these penetratings? And was like, oh yeah. And then was like, screw you, weak soldiers. And uh, he told them to go and penetrate the shield wall whilst he stayed there and like felt his biceps or something. And so Harold was like, yeah, and just waited for a little while. But like he was actually uh, hiding behind a big hill, which was, uh, you know, protecting him and his strong army. Around midday, the tide was like, see you later, guys. And the battle began. There was right hooks, left hooks, jabs, uppercuts, and heavy losses on both sides. But the English were like, yay, we're winning. Um, and uh, thought like, yay. But what I didn't know was Hedrada and the crew skirted around the left side, around the back of the Saxons, and slaughtered them, and they were finished. And the Vikings were like that, my friends is how the Battle of Fulford went down. Thank you for watching. Probably upload another one, like maybe today or don't I don't know. Cheers.